Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this squirrel uploaded by MB Cook. First things first, we'll go down here to the developer notes, see if they have any specifications. They don't say too much, but that's fine. We can figure those settings out on our own. Once you're ready, click on the download all files. You should get a folder similar to this. There's two different files. There's a .off file and an STL. We only care about the STL, so click and hold on it and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to load in. Once it's finished loading, you should see the squirrel down here. So taking this step by step, we'll go over here to the profile tab and select the layer height. 0.2 millimeters should be more than fine for this model. But you can go finer if you want a higher quality like 0.16 or 0.12. If this pops up, click on the discard changes to erase all previous profile modifications. We're not going to mess with the shell nor the infill, but we will have to mess with supports. If you take a look around the model, you'll see quite a bit of red, meaning there are overhangs present, so we do need to add supports. In order to do that, go to the supports tab and click on the generate supports box right here. And we're going to change the overhang angle up to your preferred overhang angle. For me, it's 60 because I have a CR10. But if you have like an Ender 3 or something uh, simpler, just stick with 50 to 55 degrees, whatever you're more comfortable with. For the support density, we're going to lower that down to 10%. So that basically puts less material inside of the support, making it easier to remove. And finally, the support Z distance, we're going to up that to 0.26, which will increase the gap between the top and the bottom part of the support, once again, making it easier to remove. If you take a look at the bottom of the model, you'll see there's plenty of contact area, so you do not need a build plate uh, adhesion. But if you do have troubles or troubles with adhesion, then I recommend you adding a brim. That's only if you have trouble with adhesion. Other than that, everything is set. Click on the blue slice button to slice the squirrel. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 1 hour and 53 minutes, but that will depend on the printer you are using and the settings you selected. We'll also be given an estimated filament usage of 15 grams. Now we always preview the print by clicking the preview button. Take a look around, see if anything weird or funky is going on. And everything here looks pretty normal, so save the file and send it over to your printer. Here is the model straight off the print bed. With the settings we selected, the support shouldn't be too hard to remove. So simply use your hand and just peel them away. I said it shouldn't be too difficult, but make sure you do get them removed from both the bottom and the neck area. Here is the model once processing has been completed. Everything came out good with no defects whatsoever. The only thing is that the seam is going to be visible in the back of the model, and that's because of the curvature, but that's more than expected, so you can send it out if you would like to. Other than that, everything came out good, and it's definitely a very cute, easy model.